Enjoying a spot of bank holiday Monday gardening, Vanessa Babbage looks the picture of health. But Vanessa has fought a long, arduous battle with breast cancer. After extensive surgery, chemo and radiotherapy, she knows how devastating the disease and its treatment can be. The side effects are terrible. It's actually worse than the cancer itself because you're constantly ill, so they do try to help you to minimise the side effects by giving you other drugs to help the nausea and things like that. So... The treatment is very, very harsh. Scanners like this one are used to detect and monitor cancerous tumours once they've already developed. But to understand the underlying causes of cancer, scientists have had to go much deeper to the level of DNA to try and work out what happens when healthy tissue turns cancerous. An international team of scientists led by the Sanger Institute in Cambridge examined all three billion letters in the genetic code of every one of 560 breast cancer patients. What they found has transformed the understanding of what happens in our DNA when cancer develops. Getting a, a comprehensive collection of information, um, including the mutations that are causing cancer, tells us something about why that cancer is going wrong, why that cell is turning into a cancer cell. And if you can understand that, you can understand the causes of the cancer, and then you can treat it a lot better. This opens up the possibility of much greater individualised treatments for cancer, targeting each of the mutations. That's already happening with some treatments, like the drug Herceptin. But experts believe this could be a big step forward. What this study might achieve is finding better treatments, matching them better to women. It's called tailoring treatments. By understanding the causes, the underlying biology of different types of the disease, we might be able to match better treatments and offer them things that are more likely to work for them. Back at home, Vanessa Babbage is moving on with her life after cancer and she's optimistic that science is starting to make real headway in the fight against the disease. It gives people hope because when people are affected by someone that they love and they have breast cancer, they hope for a better future for other women that are going to be affected by breast cancer. This research has transformed the understanding of cancer and offers the tantalising prospect it could prevent the disease from developing in the first place. Dominic Hughes, BBC News.